Hello everyone, welcome to everything Arsenal. <sighs> it's that time again. It's um it's it's this guys again, guys. It's um it's Aston Villa again. It's Aston Villa against Arsenal. Obviously, after everything that went down last season, this is the team that ruined our Premier League. Um, Premier League race, basically. They took six points away from us. And um, yeah, they cost us the Premier League title. And um, those games are still very, very new, um, very fresh um, in, in our minds, of obviously. And uh, the one thing that I definitely remember is the fact that we had 10 shots at Villa Park, more than they had, and they still beat us. And uh, we had 17 shots at our place against them. They had two on target. They beat us 2-0. So literally we had 27 shots against Aston Villa last season. He didn't score a single goal at our place. They had two shots in the last five minutes and they scored from both of them. They had they, they wanted the game and they basically took the title away from us. But that this is an opportunity to make that correct this time round. Um, very, very good team that you're facing. Obviously, we saw their start last and against um last week against West Ham. Um, a good win away at West Ham, never easy winning there, obviously. Um, good start for them. And this season they've added a few players um as well, the likes of Matson or Nana, very good signing um uh, signings. They've obviously sold a couple, the likes of Louise and players like that. Um, who else has left? Um, Diaby has left as well, but they still have the likes of Watkins, you know, Bailey, Buendia is back for them, and uh, Onana is now there, player you are linked to, Digne, Madsen, Martinez obviously in goal, so they still have a very good team, and obviously the manager, Una Emery against Mikel Atta once again, uh, there was some debate going on again the, the past week of who's better between Atta and um, Emery, well, it's time to face them again, it's time to face them again, big, big game for us, if we win this game, we basically, um, that would be a perfect start to the season, yes, but that will like motivate us even more for the upcoming games because this is one game that we lost. Um, this is one game that we lost last season. Last season, Man City didn't beat Chelsea, they beat them last week, so they've already made that correct for themselves. So, we also need to beat teams that we didn't beat last season. We also need to um, beat teams that we drew against last season, starting with Aston Villa, team that beat us last season. Hopefully, this time we take our chances. We are going to their place. Last game we played against Motors was out our place. The time we went to their place last season they're on fire they're just beating man city and they were confident they were battling for the top four there's even talks about them being in the title race and um they beat us as well they beat us they scored very early against us i remember that the pressure that we had over there the first 15 minutes was very very tough but uh we need to go there and um play them the, the way we play our game this time take our chances this time you know obviously you have to respect them like, as i said they're a very good team but you should be going there uh, ready to make everything, you know, kill the demons from last season. I think we can be able to do that. We have a squad as well. Um, the likes of Martinelli, Trossard, Saka, Odegaard. Um, the one player that missed a lot of chances at Villa Park last, last season was um, Odegaard. Hopefully this time he has a better game. Hopefully this time Trossard, Martinelli, Saka, all of them have better games. It's going to be an interesting one. If we win this game, it's big for us because... Um, the games don't get easier. In match day four, you have Tottenham away. Match day five, you have Man City away. So if you win this one, you go into those games, uh, starting from next week against Brighton, you go into this, those games high on confidence. So big game for us. Big, big game for us. And um, yeah, last week started against Wolves. Uh, won the game 2-0. Um, um, comfortable in the first half. Second half wasn't um, that great, but we managed to get the win either way. Good start to the week. We, we, a game that we needed to win for sure, because uh, ne the very next week, we, we, we were near that you're going to face Aston Villa, uh, tough opponents um, from the same place. Um, they're neighbors over there, but uh, Aston Villa is definitely um, more of a better team right now. And they'll be coming to this game confident for sure. Now, from, for us, looking at them, we know what they did to us last season. But for them as well, coming to face us, I think they'll be confident. Last season, watching their fans every time they before they faced us, there was still a bit of doubt. Like they beat Man City and then the very, the very same weekend they're going to play Arsenal and you could hear their fans saying, mm, I don't know if you're going to beat Man City and Arsenal in the same week. They did. And then at the end of the season, they were like, yeah, we beat them at our place, but I'm not sure we're going to beat them at the Emirates. You know, they're beating everyone 5 nil, 6 nil, 5 nil, 6 nil. I think they're going to beat us this time. But they beat us once again. They remain disciplined. They stayed in the game and they beat us on both occasions. So this time we need to take our chances. I don't think we played poorly against Aston Villa last season. We played very, very well actually in both games, but we didn't take our chances. Both games, we missed so many chances. As I say, 27 shots, we didn't score any. They came to a place, they had two shots on target and they scored from both of them. So this time we need to take our chances. We need to start the game. Um, I don't know if it's, um, yeah, hopefully we start, start the game quick, um, try and get an early goal. That would be great. 
But this is the kind of game where, you know, if you win 1-0, if you win 2-1, if you win 3-2, you just take the result and you get out of there. Um, that they are a team that is go they're going to be fighting for the top four again this season. So let's see how it goes. This would be a big result if we pick up the win. Big, big result. And then next week against Brighton, a chance to make it three wins out of three ahead of those two big games against Tottenham and Man City. So uh, we've just signed Merino. And I don't think it's going to be part of this game. Let's hope um, the rest of the squad, basically we're going into this game with the same squad that we had against them last season, apart from Calafiori and Timber, who have now joined up with the team. Calafiori new signing, Timber returning from injury. So let's hope we have a big performance from Everett in this game. Defensively, I have no problem. I think in both games, we actually did play well defensively. Uh, they just got us on the break a couple of times at the Emirates, and at that place, they scored very early. But for the rest of the game, I think we did very well. Um, defensively, we have no issues. It's just about taking our chances in this game. So which squad do I want to start in this game? This is the lineup I want. So in goal, um, I am going to definitely go for David Dreyer, no doubt about that. Now, I have um, put the back three there so far. Uh, I've not um, indicated who I'm going to have at left back yet because it could be um, three different players. Um, Gabriel Saliba Ben White definitely start for me. Um, for sure, up against Watkins. Um, Watkins always scores against us for some reason over the last three seasons. I actually think since COVID time, he scored a couple of goals against us at the Emirates Stadium. So we need to uh, watch out for Watkins for sure. Um, I think we did a good job against him last season, but he scored against us on the break. But Gabriel Saliba, that is their job against Watkins. Ben White. I don't know who's going to be up against. I don't know if it's going to be Rogers or who's going to be on the left side for them. But Ben White always, um, always happy with Ben White. But who is going to play at left back now? Zinchenko played against Wolves last week, but we know this kind of game now against Bailey or Salah or Foden, those are the games now you don't really um play Zinchenko unless he's playing in midfield or something. Zinchenko did have a very good game against Aston Villa two seasons ago, um, at Villa Park when he won 4-2. But up against Bailey, you're asking him to do a lot of defending. Bailey is a very, very good um, winger. Pacey is going to get past you, all his takes on the, the fullback. So you have to, you need a defender there who wants to defend as well. So it's going to be between Calafioi and Timber. Who's the better option in, in that position? Should you go with Timber? Timber is actually very good attacking as well. Um, should you go with Calafioi, give him his um, Premier League debut? Um, he's very good defensively, as, as we know. Or should you go with Timber? Or should you go with Zinchenko? Now, for me, I've decided to give Calafioi his debut. Very tough debut up against uh, the pace of Watkins and um, Bailey. But you know, we've bought him. We know how good he is, how good he was in Syria last season, how good of a defender he was at um, the Euros. So this, this is the time to start him. These are the reasons why we bought him, you know, to defend for us. So uh, no need to be scared about um, playing him or giving him his debut in a particular game. So it's like you give him his debut here or you give him his debut against Tottenham or Man City. So um, I am going to start with Calafiori, Gabriel Saliba and Ben White. Now, who do I think I will go for? It could, it could easily be Timber. I don't mind Timber as well, but I would like to see Timber off the bench again in this one. And then maybe against Brighton next week, he starts. Brian, Timber is very good attacking as of seed. So in a game where you need to attack, just like Sinchenko, Timber will do bits for you, like in terms of getting the ball and pushing you forward and, you know, the skill and all that. Timber is great. But for this particular one, I don't even need the fullback to go forward. I just need Calafia to defend first. I'm um, up against Bailey on that side. Um, I also want to see the relationship with um, Calafia in our left winger. Midfield, um, easier. Um, this time. Pate, Rice, and Odegaard. Uh, Mirin is now an Arsenal player, or is about to be an Arsenal player, but um, he's not ready, obviously, to start, so it's going to be Pate, Rice, and Odegaard. Pate, last week, second half, wasn't great at all. Gave away the ball too many times. Um, same actually applies to Saliba. He made a terrible mistake last week, and uh, we did give away the ball a couple of times. I think Harvest gave it away once as well, a dangerous area. I think I think the world-class save that Raya made last week, it was from a Harvard's mistake. There's another save that Raya made from a Saliba mistake. And there's one eight no shot that went just past the goal from a Saliba mistake. So those mistakes, you can't do them in this game as well. Aston Villa have better forward players than Wolves. They have players who can punish it there. So um, let us um, not make those mistakes again. But hopefully by the second week, we are good to go. By the way, I have those kits on screen. I don't know um, which kit you're going to be wearing, whether it's going to be that one or the black or by whichever it's absolutely fine so party rice and Odegaard in midfield need a big performance from all of them Odegaard, the chances created you know goals all that any any chances to shoot the ball that's uh, that would be absolutely fine 
up front again, uh, we do know Saka can be playing on the right side for sure. He will be playing on the right side. But the other two positions, we have other players who can play. You know, Jesus can play. Um, Trossard can play. Last week, Matt nearly started. But for me, I have decided to go with this one. I've gone for Trossard on the left side, Havertz up front, and Saka on the right side. Saka, our man of the match from last week. Havertz goal assist last week. He was great as well. Um, Trossard came on, wasn't on for too long. Actually, I think he only played like 10 minutes or something. So I think this week start, he starts. I mean, rotation. We want rotation, a lot of rotation in this team. This week, it's just an opportunity to go. And then Matzeli comes on in the second half. On the bench, that leaves us on the bench with um, Ramsdale, Zinchenko, Timba, Jorginho, Vieira, Jesus, Martinelli, Nuaneri, and Nelson. Don't catch you on the bench. I think by then he will have um, left the club. And for Rhys Nelson, he's still there. I don't know if he's going to be there for too much longer. I have included Vieira. I think he will have fully recovered um, from um, the injury. And then, you know, there's still players there you can bring on if you still need a goal. The likes of Martinelli and Jesus can come on. If you have a lead and we need to defend, you know, Timba, Jorginho, if you just need controls, Zinchenko, Jorginho, whoever you want to bring on in those midfield positions. I think that is a, still a good bench that can do the job, but obviously we will add to it very soon with Marine and maybe a striker signing, but that is a squad I would go for. Let me know uh, which one, um, which changes we'd make. Mostly the ones that we know about. You know which players will definitely start. You know, the guards, Saliba, all of them will definitely start, but left back. Who would you have at left back? Calafieri. Timba, would you actually play Zinchenko and ask him to go forward? What would you do at left back? And then... um. The, the left side of um, the midfield, Trossard, um, or Martinelli, who would you start in that position? And would you be tempted to drop Patti and maybe start Jorginho in this one? What would you do? Or would you, there's another option of playing Rice as a six, playing Harvard in, in midfield, and then you have Jesus up front. So both Jesus and Harvard starting. What would you do with that? Now, my prediction for this one, third time, like it, surely. Surely they're not going to do three back to back to back against us. Surely not. There is a chance they're a very good team, but hopefully not. Uh, we want to start the season very well. The last two seasons we started with them um, back-to-back wins. Actually, the, the the season before last, I think it was like five wins in a row. Last season it was um, was it two wins in a row, and then I think we drew a couple. So this time I am going to go with Aston Villa to to score. Aston Villa one, Arsenal two. I'm going to go for two one win. Uh, I'd be happy with that for sure. I um, just hope uh, we can uh, you know. Make everything right from last and get again, um, do away with the demons from last. And so, two one win for Arsenal. Saka to score again, have us to score again. Yeah, both of them on the score sheet again. Let me know your prediction. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.